going on people, welcome to United View, welcome to your road trip man, Man United against Brentford today at the Brentford Community Stadium. Um, before I talk about that, I just want to big up every single one of you um, for all the positive comments man. Um, we did something a little bit different, um, or something that you guys know me for doing I suppose, but um, first time doing it on United View, give you, give you guys an alternative view. Um, and it, it, it really went down really well and you guys really enjoyed it, man. So I would definitely try to do more stuff like that wherever possible. But, you know, that was made possible because Brentford was so welcoming. Um, hopefully, hopefully a lot of other clubs um, do more stuff like that as well. So I know you guys enjoyed it. So big up to every one of you. Thanks for all the positive comments. Um, and yeah, appreciate that. But there is the game. There is the game. And you, you guys saw what I had to say um, with Marcus Gale. Um, about this game and how tough I think it's going to be. Since then, a lot of people have messaged me and said, Flex, come on, you're being too down in the dumps. I know we're bad, but we're going to get it done against Brentford. We'll beat them convincingly. And you lot know, you lot know my thoughts, man. I'm just like, I don't know, man. This game is, this is going to be a really hard game. Do you know what I mean? Well, there are no easy games. There are no easy games in the Premier League. And the way we've been performing, it's... Uh, it's just been so up and down. You, you can't put your hat on what Man United's going to turn up. What I would say is, though, and now we've all calmed down. Well, a lot of us have calmed down. I, I, let me speak for me. Now I've calmed down since the Aston Villa game. I haven't forgotten, obviously, because you can't. But if you're taking the positives from that game of how we played for large parts of that game, with that element of control that we had, with that element of kind of dictating what was going on in the game for a large periods before we kind of let it slip. If you take those positives and say you start on that same kind of foot against Brentford, the likeliness is that we should win the game and we should score, we should score goals, you know? No disrespect, but Brentford are not as good as Villa. Um, but if, we, if, our, if our more influential players get hold of the ball and start making the right decisions like we did for large parts against uh, Villa before it all come crumbling down, um, yeah, we should have a good performance and we, we've got everything we need to go win the game. On a team selection slash team news thing, um, obviously Ralph Renick was saying that he's expecting a good few players back in terms of Sancho and Ronaldo and, and, and Rashford. We'll have to wait and see um, who does start. Um, but that intensity has got to be there. We're going to have to earn the right to play uh, against Brentford. Well, that's one thing. Yes, they've, you know, they've conceded over three goals in the last two games. Um, twice, you know, in the last uh, couple of games they've played, um, and they're, they're actually not in a great bit of, you know, they're in a bit of a dodgy form, but it all goes out the window. Like like um, Stuart said, um, when I was talking to him um, on the Brentford YouTube channel, they've they've dreamed of playing Man United. This is this is their cup final. You know, they're not just there to make up the numbers as well, which is what Marcus Gale says. They're not just there to just, you know, enjoy the moment and savour and just make up the numbers. They're there to win. They're there to win, and you know, for, for their fans, they know how much this means to them, playing against Man United at home. They're going to be on us. You know, Mark, Marcus Gale said it. Thomas Frank's only going to play one way at home, and that's on us. Do you know what I mean? There's not going to be any sitting back, I don't think. It's going to be high energy, and it's going to be up to us to kind of quiet down the crowd um, and make the quality show. What formation do I think he's going to go with? I mean, he said we've, we've gone to a 4-3-3 now with one sitting, one six and two eight, which is basically what we saw against... Um, against Aston Villa um, and out of possession what I saw was was basically a 4-1-4-1 which in, 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 in essence is one sitting and two eights which which was Fred playing it was actually you know Fred playing further up with with Bruno and it did actually work for quite a while how many times have we been asking for that as Man United a 4-3-3 three, three with one sitting and two ahead of that um, in the midfield three um, and then when we didn't have the ball out of possession it was a Langer and Greenwood kind of tucking in next to Fred and, and Bruno which made uh, the four just behind the striker um, with Cavani um, up there. So look, I think he'll go for something similar. He's basically saying that's what we've what we've opted for. So I think we'll see the same thing, um, whether it's a four-one, four-one out of possession and a and a four-two, um, a four-three-three. Sorry, a uh, bit up in possession. Probably be the same thing. Um, I will say though, Cavani's not Cavani's not been good. He hasn't. Let's just you know. We all wanted him to stay so bad and say he wants to wants to be committed to the club, which which he has done. But since he's done that, he's actually been really poor. Um, just haven't seen him. He, he, he's working hard, which you're always going to get from Cavani. But 
I just haven't seen him involved in the game. I think one shot against, uh, was it Wolves maybe or Burnley? Or was it Villa in the first game? I can't remember. And then one when he should have passed it to Mason probably against Wolves. But other than that, we um, we haven't really seen him. We haven't really seen him. So be interesting to see if he starts. Ronaldo's got to get back in there, uh, definitely. I liked, I, I really want to see us stick to that Bruno kind of having the reins on him. Look, and it just proves that with the right direction it doesn't take away from Bruno's game it actually just adds to the game of Manchester United and to our game plan as a team by bringing the reins in and making him not run around like a blue ass fly as the you know as the second striker in of like a 4-4-2 um, you know he, he kept the ball a lot better he, he, he made simple decisions simple passes and, and picked his moments um, to go forward picked his moments to go make something happen which I absolutely loved I loved it and that's what I want to see continue with Bruno um, there's no one Bissaka, he's still ill, so we're going to see Diego Dallo again. Um, and we'll have to see what happens with um, Luke Shaw. In terms of tellers, I did see there was a confirmed team of the team that were travelling. Luke Shaw wasn't in there, but there was a whole load of players that weren't there yet, so I expect to see Luke Shaw there. Um, and at the back as well, I mean, look, he's, yeah, another one of those players he's hoping to have back, or he'll see, is Harry Maguire. But, you know, again, it's annoying because the, the more the game went on against... Uh, Villa, the more we got undone. But for, again, for large parts, I thought Lindelof and Varane were actually very good. You know, Varane passing out with his left foot instead of using his right um, to the to the left back in Tellez was was working in the first half. The way he does it, quick and crisp. I don't know if you got saw it on TV, but his willingness to use his weaker foot and just push that ball out straight away to um, to Tellez, it helped. It helped inject that a bit of pace into our game. It helped start the attack. It helped. Get us going, and I was I was I was impressed with that. So I want to see him continue. And I know Lindelof a little bit at fault for one of the goals last time, and then Varane was stretching, and it was a little bit calamitous in that moment. But other than that, I think I think by and large they they, they were good, they were calm. I don't mind them seeing them again. Look, mistakes are always going to happen. We're probably I don't want to say we're always going to concede goals because if we have a proper good defence, there's a likely a high likeliness that you won't concede goals. But in this moment that we're in, we're always going to concede goals. Um, but it's just about getting the best we can get at, the, at this moment. Eric Bailly's not there. Um, Harry Maguire's been out injured for a little while. I'd, I'd carry on with Rand Lindelof, me. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. I'm looking. I am looking forward to the game. Um, having said that, although I'm although I'm not looking forward to it, I am if you get what I mean. Because you know, I just want to. I want to take the atmosphere. and I want to see us show up. Is that too much to ask for? Just can we just show up and win, please, please. Anyway, get your score predictions in. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm not going to give you my prediction because I always mess it up. Um, and you guys know I'm, I'm fearing a draw. I just got a bad feeling. So, yeah, we shall see. I said the same against Villa and that's what happened. So I don't want to be proved right again. But that's what I think. We shall see. Anyway, keep KG uh, sane on the match view. Make sure you guys tune in. Then after that, you've got the live uh, full view with Owen and Co. And then we'll be live at you guys uh, with the fan views as well. Peace.